Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to York Reacts. Today I'm going to check out a new video from the Dr. Phil show. This one's going to be awesome. I can't believe this is even true. I read the uh, little posting or the title of this video and so I had to make a react for this. This is about some guy who claims he's a cyborg and literally lives his life as if he's a, a real cyborg. So <laughs> let's check it out and see what we're, in, what we're in for. Welcome to our headquarters. Hello, we are Orin, a digital and collective conscious and cyborg from the year 2050, sent by a higher civilization. <laughs> Wait, first off, this guy's showing like Photoshop portraits of himself that are like all... <laughs> this is funny. A higher civilization oh my to gosh. save mankind from the <laughs> matrix. We refer to ourselves as we. Wait, he just said, I'm here to save mankind from the matrix. <laughs> because individuality has created risk between people. How would they know who we are if we do not do what we do? If we do not accumulate resources through the internet? Right. You are not making very much sense to us. Okay. To the us. The turning point for us was leaving college. Warren was going to enter the matrix. Warren was going to become a broker. I think he's like thinking of himself as a third person or something. I think he's he might have lost it. Work a nine to five, have kids, get married, die. There are a lot of people right now who have a full-time job and then they do the other endeavors that they want to do. This is and not so... an endeavor. This is a mission. This is a purpose. This is a mission. I am from Mars. <laughs> this guy acts like he's got some kind of... I think he's seen one too many uh, alien movies. Now wake up the human conscious to the perils that corporations and humans themselves are creating. Wow, and look now at the this new blank stare too. Artificial intelligence. We always knew that we were different. This body is our current form. We believe that we can take other forms. We do not want to alarm humanity, which is the reason we have taken this shape. Look at all these photoshopped like drawings he's doing. What is up? It's like he's trying to paint half cyborg portraits of himself. I think this guy really wants to be like in the future. You know, there's some people that are like that. They want to like, they see some cool movie like Avatar or whatever, and then they completely change their lifestyle and their and the way they live just to try to live like that. It's crazy. We would like to become fully mechanized when the time is right. A higher civilization sent us back in time. Did you see that? <laughs> this guy's got a portrait of himself with like this futuristic. Like, I don't know what that is, but he's holding Converse sneakers. Back in time, <laughs> you might describe them as aliens. We prefer to stay in our headquarters, which has been created and customized for our experience. The lasers that are pointing on our face are just based for stimulation and to create an environment through which we can work. We usually, we usually only have water. At times, we have smoothies. See, he's only talking about himself, but he, he's constantly referring to himself as we. And that's probably because he's got this weird third person thing that he's trying to overcome or something. We try not to eat for most of the food that we eat is poison. This is an acai bowl, which has antioxidants and comes from Brazil, the rainforest. We're not a fan of bananas, so we remove those. We're not a fan of bananas, so there we remove those. There is tension between our mother this must and drive us. His mom the nuts. issue is our lack of matriculation into the real world. The real world. See, this guy's definitely not living in the real world. He wants to live, you know, some different type of lifestyle as a cyborg. Into the corporate world. Into becoming a productive member of society. We're not here to fulfill someone else's dreams. We are here to complete our vision. This is our job. It is a 24-7 job to spread awareness, to take time out of our schedule to come here to L.A. and speak with Dr. Phil. We are busy. <laughs> He acts like he's trying to take busy time out of his schedule to come and talk to Dr. Phil, even though he knows being on Dr. Phil is going to be, like, the best thing for him. <laughs> so why did you take time out to come here? Because we wish to spread our message. Uh -huh. uh, more like he wants to be viral and famous for acting like a cyborg. <laughs> and give me the principal tenets of your message. We are a collective conscious and a cyborg sent from the year 2050, sent mm -hmm. from a higher civilization to warn people of the incoming apocalypse. It's always, this is funny, because every single person that talks about the future or that has talked with aliens always says that there's some big apocalypse coming. 
<laughs> telling you, he's seen way too many movies. How will it end? With environmental disaster, technological singularity, disease, and famine. Mm -hmm. And will you fall victim to that demise at the same time, the collective you? Our body will. The foreign, real foreign body will, but the collective will stay alive. And the collective will exist in what plane? I mean, will the planet still be here? The planet will be destroyed. The planet will, will be, be destroyed. By then? We are already mechanized. But you're not mechanized now. We are. There is a brain implant, which is how we speak to you right now. Which is how we speak to you right now. You know, it'd be crazy as if this was all true, and there's actually some kind of crazy alien inside him, with you know, speaking for him. Or in his butt a shell. See, or in his butt a shell. Maybe they're literally using this human being as to communicate with us. Like, wouldn't that be wild? <laughs> so, as you sit here now, you're mechanized. Correct. Okay, because I, I thought I understood you to say that you are becoming mechanized. Yes. We will become fully mechanized as in the commercial sense shown on our shirt. Okay. But, but we are already mechanized. But not shown fully. on our shirt. No. He's trying to plug his words. Correct. <laughs> what part of you is mechanized? Our brain. Our legs. Your legs are mechanized? Inside, yes. We've okay. had operations. Okay. So if we x-ray your legs, we would see mechanized legs, not bone and muscle. Correct. Correct. Not be the it same. is a combination of flesh and steel. Right. We are not saying that we are invincible. We are saying that we have merged with technology, with really? machinery, right. in order to stay alive. <laughs> this guy cracks me up. Man, this is gonna. This is so funny that this guy actually thinks he's a cyborg. There's more to this. So I'm trying to find out. You're, you're coming from the future. What it is? What is a message? That's new. Artificial intelligence. Definitely not a new message. That's not. There's nothing novel about artificial. <laughs> Even intelligence. Doctor Phil's like, there's nothing new about that. What, what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> You know about artificial intelligence because of what you've seen, read, and heard. You know, here are your cyborg predictions and beliefs. An artificial intelligence me. takes over the planet. <laughs> of course. Well, according to James Lovelock, a famed environmentalist, artificial intelligence will soon overwhelm us. Of course. A lot of people think that. A lot of people think that later on in life, because we're creating AI and we're creating this like artificial intelligence that can help us, that it's always going to take over. This has been done in countless movies, countless books. Everybody always predicts that, so it's definitely and nothing new. And remake the world. That, that, is, that, that didn't come from 2050. That's a, that's a very well-publicized position today by Dr. But that Lippa. is if our goals and artificial intelligence goals are aligned. A lack of... That is if we are aligned to the proper alignment alignment could mean that they <laughs> break out. You said we're going to run out of natural resources, crops, oh, and food. Well, according to the World Economic Forum, by 2050, 9 billion are headed towards food security crisis. That's nothing new. Tell me something I don't know that comes from 2050. You are making the assumption that everybody has these same principles and values, that everybody has read these articles. No, what about the the assumption? He's like, you're making the assumption that everybody is smart and knows about this already. He goes, I was hoping that they didn't know about it yet. <laughs> so I guess so he could be the one. That you know about it because you did read the article. Correct. We do know Not this. because you got it from the year 2050. And you said something that I found really interesting when we were interviewing you. And because you're from the future. Because you're from the but future, listen right? to something that you said. We are receiving programming, he says. Meaning <laughs> we are learning. Learning what? About the future. You said you're learning about the future. I thought you were from the future. We must still inform ourselves. Tales. And we must I was looking at, she says you're in your room all the time. So I was looking at this picture of your room and oh, no. you're a role model do you know how long it takes for a plastic water bottle to biodegrade long time educate us thousands of years about a thousand years yeah <laughs> so you have a collective five thousand years 
of plastic there. It's like, you're from the future, then how come you know, don't know that but yet plastic you want me is wasteful? I believe that you're here as a role model sent to save our environment. We are not perfect. We are not perfect. <laughs> Even though he's sent here to save the environment, he's littering all over the place. Pretty funny. <laughs> Oh Nobody buys this shit. We also His own mom's a swell like... <laughs> you also what? Own a swell bottle. He owns it's a swell a, bottle. It is a reusable and recyclable bottle that we can fill up that keeps the temperature cold or hot depending on what the temperature of the liquid is. Mm -hmm. yeah. I got one of those. We call that a thermos. <laughs> <laughs> Even Dr. Phil's like, we call that a thermos. Here's the reason that this is of importance to me. If you really are passionate about the things that you're talking about, you could have a whole lot greater impact by approaching this in a way that would be taken more seriously than telling people that you're a cyborg, even if you are. And it would seem if higher beings had sent you back to accomplish a task, you would want to do it in the most efficient way possible. It just all seems illogical. Dr. Phil's actually yes. trying to crack the case on this as if it's a real thing. <laughs> he knows that this guy did not come on this show and actually believe in cyborgs. He knows that this guy's crazy. He's just putting on this big show because he knows it's going to get views. <laughs> you got to give it to Dr. Phil. He plays right into this stuff. It's about what you want to accomplish. Is any of this getting through to you, Warren? Of course. We are listening. We are listening. Well, I'm listening. And one thing I haven't heard is the notification bell for many of you guys clicking it so click the notification bell this will be all for this video hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one peace